okay so let's move on to you know slightly more interesting games okay uh, if, if let's say you know you have just uh, let's say player one can take only two actions player two can also take only two actions you, you can also analyze those games but for those games you don't have to necessarily find the best response you know uh, by writing the best response and then doing it you can actually write the payoff in the form of a matrix and then do it okay let me do one more game you know where uh, uh, you know the situation uh, doesn't require you to plot anything okay uh, but you can simply use uh, uh, let's say you know just just you can simply analyze the matrix of uh, payoffs to find the Nash equilibrium okay so you know you can call this uh, this is actually prisoner's dilemma okay so this is prisoner's dilemma game you can read more about prisoner's dilemma okay uh, you know there is there's a lot of stuff on prisoner's dilemma okay uh, everywhere okay so you can read about it player 2 is actually the column player and player 1 is a row player so one is choosing c and d uh, between c and d and two is also choosing between c and d okay both have two actions each and I'm writing their payoffs. Basically, I'm writing the payoffs in this box. Okay, uh, so uh, the first element is player one's payoff. The second element in the box is player two's payoff. Okay, so if player one cooperates and two cooperates, then both gets a payoff of two each. If player one cooperates and player two defects, then uh, player one's payoff goes down to zero and player two, uh, you know, gains by defecting and he gets three. Okay. And it's similar, you know, it's a symmetric uh, situation from player one's perspective. And if both defects, then both gets one. Okay, so let's find the Nash equilibrium in this. Okay, so instead of writing the BR1, BR2, we are simply going to use this matrix to find it. Okay, so what we are going to do is this that first we are going to look at what are the best responses of player one. So given that player two plays C, okay, what is the best response of player one? Notice that three is greater than two. Given that player two plays C, three is greater than two, so player one would like to play D. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a circle around it to say that D is the best response to C, okay? Now, if player two plays D, then what is the best response of player two, player one? Again, it's D because if player two plays D, then we are in this column and in this column one is greater than zero. So I'm going to put a circle around one. Okay, fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out player two's best response. So I'm going to fix player one's action to C and I'm going to figure out what is the best response of player two given that player one plays C. So given that player one plays C, uh, player two benefits from playing D in comparison to C because D gives him three and C gives him two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a rhombus around three. Okay, uh, you can use whatever you want. Okay, uh, and if uh, player one plays D, then uh, again a uh, player two would want to play D. Okay, uh, so what is the Nash equilibrium? It's the intersection of the two best responses. Okay, so notice that D is the best response to D from player one's perspective and D is the best response to D from player two's perspective. Basically, we have uh, a geometry around, you know, uh, both player one and player two payoffs. Okay, and that also tells you the intersection. So therefore, DD is a Nash equilibrium. Okay, DD is a Nash equilibrium. Okay, please note that, uh, you know, DD is, is a Nash equilibrium, but it is not a Pareto efficient profile. Okay, if you really think about it, both players can benefit if they both deviate to CC. Okay, uh, so, you know, when, when we are talking about Nash equilibrium, you know, Nash equilibrium doesn't necessarily mean that, uh, you know, it's going to be efficient. Okay, it's possible that Nash equilibrium is not efficient, as we can see here. Is that clear to everyone? Okay, notice that both players are playing their best response to each other's action and yet they are achieving an outcome which is not efficient. 
you know, and that is the point here. You know, I mean, it's possible that Nash equilibrium is not efficient. In fact, many games fall into this category presence dilemma. Okay. In fact, if you think about Kurno duopoly game, you know, it is also a kind of uh, prisoner's dilemma. Okay. Uh, so, so we'll 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 uh, now you know uh, solve the Kurno duopoly game.